Hey, what's up? It's Mark. And this is John. From Dirty Honey, and you are watching Chaos Sign. Woo! Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, how, uh, how was your first ever headliner show been so far? Uh, oh, you mean the tour? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been great. Uh, I think it's been basically sold out the whole run. Almost, with the exception of maybe one. Um, the audiences have been really excited and uh, just giving us a lot of energy. You know, I, I try to put on my best show every night, uh, no matter what the case is. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very cold. I'm very tired. But we're also at the end. Yes. We're at the end of a long road. But, yeah, it's been a great tour. Um, I think it's better than all of us could have ever imagined. And, quite honestly, it might my favorite tour we've done ever so it's been great cool um well today you'll be playing here in Tava at Tavastia in Finland uh -huh. um what comes to your mind when you think about Finland or when you when you hear the name like Finland what do you know about our country I uh I NHL think I, yes of course <laughs> well Miko Rantanen uh comes to mind um Oh God, who's the famous guy from Finland on the Anaheim Ducks? Timo Solani. Ah, oh, Timo Solani, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I think uh, like very lush forests in the north and really cool wildlife come to mind. I know there's like wolves and bears way up there. I've heard Finland doesn't treat the uh, wildlife all that well, to be honest. I was reading some articles about some problems here, which kind of pisses me off. Right to your congressman, senator, or whatever. Save the wolves. Um, But yeah, no, we this is our first time here, so we're kind of taking it all in. Yeah, yeah. I went to the spa, um, Loyli, Loyli Sauna Spa. Um, Loyli Sauna, yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. So, so did you dip I'm in? I'm feeling refreshed. Did, did you dip in, in in the water? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, jumped in the ocean Ooh. or the Baltic Sea. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so really what's cool. with the wolves, by the way? I just, you know, it's a problem in America, too. Um, but yeah, I love wildlife. I know he does too we kind of both grew up in like the boonies they call it mm -hmm. in america and um he's not as passionate about it as i am but uh you know it's definitely something i've i was excited to come to finland and like maybe end the trip here and see some you know wildlife and see the northern lights like way up north and stuff but uh it i read some articles that said it's like almost impossible to see them yeah they get yeah but what do you know about finland <laughs> uh well I don't really know much uh, but like I said that just kind of anticipating it being like home was yeah, kind yeah, of yeah 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 just that's a very so. general thing but I <clears throat> I kind of anticipated that it would remind me of home you know uh, this city even kind of reminds me of a main city but it's it's still got that old Europe thing but with the, some of the buildings but yeah yeah similar freezing snow you know like I said wilderness and I mean we got we got wolves and bears in Maine so Kind of, kind of similar. Yeah. Part of the earth. Cool. Uh, your self-titled debut album was released in uh, April 2021. So, and you've received tons and tons on uh, all kinds of feedback. So, your thoughts on on what you've been given? Uh, it was it was very nice to be well received, and uh, we've been working really hard the whole time to make. To make sure that we make good on every um, <clears throat> positive moment that we have, you know, try to grow our audience and just stay stay out there on the on the road. We know we're a live band, and that's a big part of uh, that's a big part of the buzz, I think. Mm -hmm. And the talking point is that it's, it's not just a record we made; it's not just a song on the radio. It's a, it's um it's we're kind of a one stop. We're kind of the only place to get this if this is what you want, you know. I I think. Um, You know, unless you see some of the legendary bands like Guns N' Roses or something. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I think every time we get, you know, positive views, it's kind of like the challenge is like, oh, oh, you thought that was great? Hold my beer. You know, kind of like that's a saying meaning like we're going to top that, you know, or yeah, try to, yeah, you know. Yeah. I know Mark's a competitor, so he's got the same spirit, you know. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, obviously we're... Um, trying to write great songs and stuff but I think nothing really translates to P 
people that already like rock and roll, um, nothing translates as well as our live show. You know what I mean? We get mm-hmm. the compliment all the time, like, hey, I really love the record. I just got it the other night. Really love, like, when I'm gone on the record, but, like, it's even better live. And mm-hmm. So it's kind of, um, it's kind of a, it's a good problem to have, I guess, because we want to make the records great, but it's also a compliment that they like the performance of the song better live so we're trying to somehow you know figure out how to keep that live energy on the record so that they both can be you know Uh 1a 1b if you will um but yeah everything's been really great and obviously this tour was a a great step in the right direction but i think we have a lot more to prove on the next record that we're going to be going back to work on um in a couple weeks so yeah okay uh gene simmons of KISS uh, has been telling, saying that um, a rock music is dead. <laughs> so uh, any thoughts on that? What do you think? What well, is he's, it? He's, uh, they just announced that they're going to be doing their last uh, run ever um, this year. So, um, you know, honestly, I gave Gene a lot of shit for saying that, but after we opened for them and got to see what he still can do like I have nothing but respect for him mm-hmm. and Paul Stanley mm-hmm. and that band and like I, he knows like I was so impressed with Kiss when we opened for them in Budapest and uh, where was the other city? Somewhere else. It, w- it was in Croatia. Oh Zagreb. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was so impressed so honestly he can say whatever he wants but we wouldn't be here if we yeah. thought it was dead you know. Yeah. And I think I always heard that as like very gene centric like his point of view mm-hmm. you know i mean he lived at the time when it was the biggest thing in the world and he was part of it being the biggest thing in the world so now he's looking at other genres being bigger and you know but he's still he he's also smart that that's a good thing to get in the press i'm not saying he doesn't maybe mean it but you know he's still touring arenas He's still doing huge shows. He's got you <laughs> saying his name in this interview. So <laughs> yeah. He's doing yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. It's brilliant. It was the brilliant talking point guy. Everybody's talking about it. And at the end, we all win from just saying it, you know? So, good job, Gene. So, let's <laughs> let's take it as yeah, rock and roll that one. <laughs> is still alive yeah, and kicking. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Certainly in Helsinki, we did not expect um, a sold-out crowd of, like, 800 people here tonight. Yeah, That's I'm kind of pretty excited. Mind, so, I'm really really happy and uh, excited to end the tour here and have a great show what a, i can only assume is a great rock audience because we did not expect uh this many people to show up i don't even know how the fuck you guys know who we are yeah i, I don't know we don't Bunker know chaos in a, uh, chaos in what they've been mm-hmm. like reading and uh-huh. well we didn't have too many articles on you guys but um well, Tavastia is the place to be in Finland. Like this is like all, 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 all those bands like yeah, come dream. up through. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and not each and every band gets here ever. Mm. Mm. Huh? We were supposed Very to cool. come here once before, but yeah, I think I think we were supposed to play a festival outside of Helsinki and it got canceled but, because of the Russian yeah. conflict. Yeah, um, but you started with Tavastia. It's yeah, it's a big great thing. Yeah, cool. We're pumped. Yeah, it's cool. And uh, uh, then I wanted to ask you uh, something about like um, your songwriting process, like okay. lyrics, melody, like what comes first, and how do you do it? How do you do it? Usually, a riff comes first. Yeah, you yeah. start playing your back. Forward. Yeah, something like that. Um, it's usually the pro. Uh, I'd say that's eighty percent of the songs came that way, but. Uh, you know, he's written a couple on his own. Um, uh, I've accidentally written some melodies here and there, but he largely writes all the lyrics and all the melodies. So, generally, the person on their instrument is kind of re- mostly writing their part. But again, like uh, Justin's written a riff for you know he's got a new one coming on this record, and uh, Mark's had a couple. So, um. I think yeah. the key is to like I usually write stuff that's pretty simple or whatever and then like once it gets through the assembly line of the band and like it stops at John's station you know he has to put his own little spin on everything and like another last time for instance is a great example of that where like 
it, I, I wrote pretty much an acoustic song, and then he had to translate whatever I wrote onto his instrument to make it. And I kind of just like the song was so happening that I, because I kind of came up with bridge chords, and it just happened. It just happened. Like it kind of just happened. It was just like, oh, we should go here, and you were like, yeah, and then he just sang it, and then it just, you know. It's just uh, all of a sudden it exists. Yeah, and then it just existed, and nobody really questioned it. And it's yeah. a great bridge, you know. I mean, the chords are just the chords, but one thing happens, and then if it's good, and then he's singing, you know. So, I just read a great quote from. Uh, I'm all about Rick Rubin right now. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm trying to get him to work with us, but like, uh, um, he he just posted this thing where he said, uh, in a collaboration, uh, something like it. No one look. If the best idea wins, no one loses. Everyone wins. So if it's not your idea, you still won because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you're in a exactly. collaboration. So yeah. the band just got the best yeah. idea for it. And, you know, going into the studio, we're heading into the studio soon. I'm, I don't know if that's one of your questions, but um, I felt that was, like, timely to read that, you know. Because, you know, I think that, but you have to remember it in, t in practice, you know. Um, so, but, so we try to do that is our point, I think, you know. To always have the best i think we do that we always have the best idea win. so do you make like notes like a record on your iphone like you like yeah, play yeah, with sure. your guitar sure. we okay. do that but we also have had this thing where we realize like if if you write something really good you remember it like if it's actually really good you you mostly remember it You're like oh yeah that thing it goes like this because it did it just happened it's while you guys were setting up yeah there. It just resonates differently with you. Mm -hmm. The thing that you know, you just know it's, and it's an inner knowingness. It's not an intellectual thing. Um, you, you, you don't add. There's no meaning. Like there's no facts that you add up and go. I have decided it's good. That's usually when it isn't. Mm -hmm. When it's good, it's just you remember it and you're like that thing. Yeah. And so, in some cases, those don't need the voice memo. I guess is my point. I've voice memoed a million things, but the good ones I don't need to. It sounds amazing yeah. to me. Like, yeah. how can you do it? Like, it's ma it's magic. It's magic. Yeah. Machines. The, the only part, the only part that isn't magic is, and 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 for the kids out there is, <laughs> you have to, you have to keep doing it. When it's not happening, when it, and then somewhere in the middle of the sweat, it just happens. If it, does that make sense? Like you have to, the part yeah. that's the methodical part is to just like, all right, let's let's. Let me just put the guitar in my hands today. You know, whatever it is that you do, that part, yeah, you have to yeah. keep that going. You can't be idle. I guess is the point. Yeah, I'm still writing my novel. For that moment, years. <laughs> you know, in the Sistine Chapel where the two fingers are touching, is like, ah, the moment. yeah. That That's doesn't smart. happen on the couch when you're doing nothing. It happens when you're just always doing it. I heard a great yeah. analogy. It was like surfing. It was like you surfers might not always catch the wave, right? But you have to have the skills and you have to be practiced enough and you have to put in the effort to catch the right wave when it does come. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like you, you have to be in the ocean to catch the wave. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you don't get, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So get your ass off the beach, yeah. you're never going to write a song. Exactly. So yeah, yeah. So we have two philosophers. So yeah, we just hit you know, That was Harry Styles. <laughs> 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 There's some sort of thing too. It's like you can't win the game from the sideline, you know. Yeah. If you're a sports guy, you know, it's like uh, you gotta yeah. be in. Yeah. You know. So. Okay. So you've been uh, around since 2017. Yep. And the um, music industry, it's been changing a lot, like over the years. So, um, what do you think are the um, biggest hurdles for bands that are like building their careers in 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 year 2023? It's an easy answer, money. Money. Yeah. Yeah. Record labels offer you a, a large sum of money, and if you take it, you're basically signing away your life. Your the the few like the few revenue streams, I guess, which would be like ways that you can make money, whether it's merch or music or streaming or tickets. Like they take a percentage of all of it, so like it's really hard to survive unless you go huge and from the you know from the people that I've known in the music industry um, that are somewhat like legends in the music industry the, the people that I know that work at like Capital and Epic and um, 
what's the, what's the big what's Lady Gaga's one? The Interscope. Interscope. Like they're like it's fucking bullshit the way these young A and R people work now. They just like look on YouTube to try and find an artist who maybe has like an online audience that you know that A and R person had nothing to do with. Yeah. And then. Mm -hmm nothing happens because nobody's passionate about anything anymore and it's really hard so um yeah, yeah i think just money. i just getting money. some money together to to really start and take your risk and like you know ha start your career somehow is is a big thing i mean it, i mean it yeah it didn't it didn't cost if you i mean i'm not going to say the number but it didn't cost us between like the first tours and the first album in the grand scheme of things, it didn't cost that much money. We didn't make any money. We, we didn't were, make we any. We were surviving on <laughs> yeah, yeah. merch money. We yeah. had to sell t-shirts yeah. to like, get by, but I could see pretty quickly, like, okay, we need to... Because even if you get a great manager, he's got go, to find your money. And a lot of times they try to do it with a record label deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, you that's, know, how you, that's how you get started and you hope that it goes big but the big I think the biggest trouble with the record label thing is um, the amount of time they're gonna give you you know nobody wants to wait for you to they're be not successful. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. the that's the real trick is it, it doesn't happen like that yeah. yeah and that's that's a tough spot to be in as an artist I think you know and especially if you're starting you're like oh, and it puts all this pressure and every and then there's all these cooks in the kitchen and everybody's got these ideas and then and then when it doesn't work they go wow I have Let's to move on because I have to preface yeah. um, the the point of needing money with uh, you need to have great music and great oh, songs yeah. and stuff <laughs> yeah, first, yeah, yeah. and then you need money. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, if you just have money, I mean, I know a bunch of fucking famous actors and millionaires who try and start up bands and nobody cares because the music is shit. Yeah, that, yeah. I guess that is probably the first answer. You gotta be great. That's why I tell yeah. kids. Kids come to the show and their parents are there and they're like. How do you get into the music business? And I'm like, well, how old are you? And they're like, I'm 14. I'm like, be amazing by the time you graduate high school. I mean, I'm not saying I was, but that's now that doing what I've done. That's my advice. Be as be as ready to hit the road, at least skill wise. <clears throat> you know, writing songs and and um, and playing them well. You got to be great because then all those other things will. They will come to you when yeah. if you're not antisocial, you know. <laughs> <laughs> in Finland, if you, if you show your, if you if you're great and you show yourself, you know, then you then all that other stuff will come in. Of course, there's all the other hurdles as we're talking about, you know, getting the guy who's not going to rip you off and all that stuff. Mm. But <clears throat> that's what comes first. That's what I tell kids at shows. Yeah, like, just be great. All you while you don't have to pay rent or bills, <laughs> be great. Like just. Graduate ready <laughs> is you know best you can. Yeah, that's a good uh, advice. Because yeah. it's a free time for you, you know, and mm -hmm. especially now when um, if you're 14 now and the internet, you know, you have every access to everything. I mean, you can find all the interviews we could never find when we were 10 uh, of uh, you know whoever you like. You know, they're all online now. You know, and then all the lessons, and then all everything. So it's a lot of resources. It's it's uh, it's sort of easier nowadays. Like the, inf the information access. Yeah, is, yeah, it's easier. But on the other hand, it's like there are so many so you wannabes, sort. and like 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 I want to be a rock star, and, and, and I'm gonna take whatever it takes. I told I I just did like a for my uh, I just did a thing at a at a high school like via Zoom. And um, that's what I told the kids. I was like, more than anything else, practice the stuff you love. Okay. That will help you sift out what you need to be doing. Don't forget about that because there's so much information and, and you know, you're a young musician and you want to learn all this stuff. But learn learn how to play like play and sing and write like your heroes more than you work on anything. Work on the other stuff, but not as much as you work on that. Because that will keep you heading in an actual direction, you know. Instead yeah. of kind of treading water with all this, you know, overload of, you know, everything. I'll tell you which records to listen to, you know, the whole thing. Man, we just figured it out. So what's happening next after this tour? Making a record. 
Megan Record. I do have something. Can you do this for me? It's uh, Sugar Daddy's. It's a it's a honey company in Finland. You can open up, and it's it's. Oh, this is uh, this is with uh, whiskey, honey okay. with whiskey. That's whiskey. This, yeah. Oh, that's honey, honey, with, whiskey uh, honey with honey with whiskey. This is awesome. Thank you. And this is what is this, this for us? Yes, it's all, but this is for your friend Kitch. Make sure it, for Kitch. Yeah. Why is it for Kitch? Cause I, I've seen some of his movies. Oh, you gotta give him. A, yeah, you send him a gift. <laughs> yes, I'm. I'm sending him a gift. Creep, get it to him. Creep River yeah. Wilderness. I'm gonna see him soon. I'll get it. Honey to him. Company. Yeah. And, uh, Sick. Thank what? you very much.